in this video, we finish that helmet and start assembling our Vanguard Veteran. Here's where we are with our Death Watch Vanguard Veteran, and today we're going to be finishing off this helmet. Evil Sun Scarlet is going to be our base coat for the eyes, and I'm just going to try to be very slow and base coat the inner lens. I'm going to get some on the face, but we're going to clean it up later. While that's drying, we're going to grab Bone Wipe, and we're going to do this for the parchmenty bits. Um, I'm probably not going to write anything on these right now. I might give it a shot later, but I don't even know what I would do. But we're going to get this one on the shield and this one here on the leg as well. Second coat of Evil Sun Scarlet on the eyes. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the rest of it, but you're just going to see after shots because it's so tiny and so fiddly, I cannot get it on the camera. Going to layer some Wild Rider Red in the eyes, and we're going to do probably halfway to the front on both sides. A dot of Fire Dragon Bright near the front of each lens will finish off these eyes. We're going to use some CB shade to add some contrast to the parchment bits. Going to break up the Dawnstone again. This is what we're going to use to edge highlight the helmet. I chose to do this now because I knew when I did the lenses, I was going to mess things up. So the edge highlighting will clean some of that up. And then anything that that doesn't clean up, we're going to come back in with black and clean that up as well. And I uh, tried to get all the edges and I also did a line next to the gold details to kind of add some interesting separation right there. All right, let's put this guy together. I've never done a guy with a jetpack before, so I'm unsure how the other pieces are going to fit in around this. But uh, it looks like the fiddling that I have here with the arm, that at least when the arms and the shoulder pads are concerned, the backpack's not going to interfere with them too much, and I should be able to position them however I want. So let's figure out how we want the sword arm and the shield arm to go together. A little bit of passive glue, a little bit of fiddling, and we will get this guy in a, at least I think, interesting pose. All right, there we go. That works for me. All right, let's see if we can get this head in this backpack and see how they're gonna interact. So I'm gonna pop the head off the pen. And uh, I'm guessing, based on the head that I chose with the weird halo thing, this is only gonna go in one way probably. So yeah, it's looking pretty tight. So we'll just have them facing forward and we'll get the head and the backpack all together. And this guy will be assembled. And we have a fully assembled, mostly painted, Death Watch Vanguard Veteran. Gonna do the bases all together at the end, and I'm gonna do the power weapons all together at the end, but I'm pretty happy with how this guy came along. Well, that's how I've been hobbying lately. If you'd let me know how you've been hobbying lately down in the comments, I would love to check it out.